Okay, so it's time for a super experimental fun episode of Weekly Wednesday with your favorite pal, Jack. Now, a couple years ago when I was pretty confident with my body, I used to like swimming because swimming is kind of fun sometimes. So what I did is, so I could film the stuff that I was doing, is I took my phone or whatever I was filming on back then. I think it was a little flip cam, actually. Um, and I put it in this little bag. Basically, this is designed to put your stuff in when you're fishing, and if it falls in the water, it's okay because it doesn't get wet. So I thought... Maybe if you put electronics in there and it gets submerged in water, it'll also be okay. And I was absolutely correct. Now that was like 2011, 2012 back then. So I don't know if it's still going to work. So I can't afford a new phone and I don't want to risk it, like getting damaged and everything. If I just test it out in the water. So what I'm going to use is dad's phone. Okay, so I just got an email, or well, my dad just got an email. Now, the phone is in the bag, and the cool thing about this kind of plastic is you can do the phone through the plastic. So now, we have the plastic phone, and that tub is full of water. So we're gonna go, it is in the bag, and we have a look, and uh, we searched for something, but other than that, we seem pretty fine. Auto ISO, thank you. Okay, so, the phone seems to be operating okay. Do you want to hear some music? Let's hear some music, baby! You guys like modern baseball? I love modern baseball. Let's listen to the modern baseball. So the phone seems to be operating fine. I keep getting emails. Anyway, um, we just... How's that? That's doing pretty well, actually. I did that as a joke, but honestly, <laughs> there's nothing on that phone. <laughs> there's nothing here. Like, it, it asked me to power it off, but... Apart from this, the phone seems to be doing okay. I was kind of... That was a joke. But the phone's fine. What's... I'm just going to put it back in there. And, um... Let's move on with the video. So, tomorrow Sam is from Brisbane. Sam's never been to my house. And tomorrow's Australia Day. So Sam and his roommates, Bianca and Simon, are going to come to my house. And we're also going to go swimming, and I'm going to put my phone in that little plastic bag. While we're at it, let's get this Nokia Lumia 610. We'll just throw that in there too. Look, well, let's have a little phone party. Let's see who wins the phone party in terms of... I can't believe this iPhone, dude! It's been in there for a few minutes! Okay, we have lost touch sensitivity. He keeps asking me to turn it off, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep putting it back in the water. This is a really old one. It doesn't even work, but I'm just going to throw it in there anyway, just to make me feel a little bit alive. I think this phone is dead. Let's have a look. This is fucking amazing. What the hell? What else is waterproof? Let's see. Tiny drum? Waterproof. Braid 9? That shit's waterproof too, boy. We out here, punch in the water. It's dying. It's final moments. Oop, it's vibrating. Oop, doot, 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 doot. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, Danny boy. I'm actually so intrigued by how this all works. It's still going. It's telling me to plug it in. The the battery's fine. I mean, the, the underwater thing, that's totally cool. But guess what? It's out of battery, so now you're kind of in trouble. If you ever plan on going on like a, I don't know, three minute scuba diving expedition, get an iPhone 4. And if you feel like just lip moving underwater and you still want to get all these vibrations just come on over and grab yourself a good old nokia lumia 640 because they do not die this is <laughs> hey sam guess what there's a hole in the bag i was gonna put my camera in what do i do sam <laughs> sam you're an ideas man <laughs> okay, so it's currently 5.30 p.m. and it's it's really nice out here. Let's have a closer look at this view. Take a closer look at this view. So we spent the whole day swimming pretty much so I couldn't really film it because the bag had a hole in it. And um, I did get this photo though, so that's pretty cool. 
Now I am off to Brightwater House because we're going to have a little vegan barbecue thing. I'm not vegan, but everybody else in the group is vegan. I'd like to be vegan, but also a huge piece of shit. So that's actually stopping me from becoming a vegan. Oh, Should we show? Yeah. Have you got any stories? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm actually letting yeah. you down. There's got to be a story that you've told me, but you haven't yeah, told the camera yeah, yet. It's just very expensive. What uh, have we got? The one I vomited because I did a shit <laughs> in the toilet. Ooh, let's do that one, yeah. <laughs> Last week I got really drunk here. Like I just got in the shit the next morning, smelled the shit, yeah. overpowered me, and I vomited. Well, didn't have, <laughs> didn't have time. Really so Dude, I only had two like, wipes before I had to turn on the vomit. <laughs> so I just spread my ass cheeks on all four naked on my bathroom floor like, and just no stared my shit on my birthday morning, this was. <laughs> stared my shit right in the eye and vomited so on top how, of it. So that's how you welcomed your 24th year. Yeah. Wait, are you 24 now? Shit. You're married to him. Oh no! I oh, know you're not. You're <laughs> almost. I forgot that engagement isn't just like marriage straight up. Thank God. I don't know a whole lot about. Yeah, you still have time to back out if you if he shit if he vomits on one more shit. That's what Jack looks like. From like four meters away. We don't see Jack. No. Say hi, Jack. Wait, no. We see a lot of Jack. He like intros everything. I don't want to see any more of Jack in the day No more. Maybe you should fight him. <laughs> I'm going to fight Jack. So I don't wear underwear. The other day, oh, yeah. I don't know you rip it in. Yeah, no, like, this is like an hour into my six hour shift. Oh, you're going to. It just drops the full time. I'm going to say a story first. It was like an hour into my six hour shift, and I felt a breeze. And then I like felt, and my ducks had split straight down the seam from nutsack to and then I like felt, and my ducks had split straight down the seam from nutsack all the way up to back. Probably wear jocks, eh? Yeah, no, and um, <laughs> and people were like, yeah, nah. people were telling me that sometimes I'd be walking along and a, a nut would just pop out and get sucked back up, and like, I'd take another step. <laughs> and um, yeah, and, uh, and um, I was in the fruit and veg area, and I was sweeping under these benches, and I went like that, I forgot, and I heard the deli like. <laughs> 